Hey guys, I'm going to do this unboxing video today of all the gear I received in the mail. But first, I have to go to the store because I ran out of bacon. You guys, I'm back from the store. I got my bacon and I got my 30 pack of white monster energy drinks. I will be able to survive the week now. Check it out. Yes. This body is brought to you by bacon. Also, hashtag that keto life. What's up YouTube fam? Andrea Bettis here and I am about to do an unboxing of all the camera equipment that I received in the mail today. So let's get to it. All right, first up, is the camera that I have been waiting for. Uh, right now you're seeing this video shot on the Sony a6300 and I love it. It's awesome. But I went ahead and bit the bullet and ordered the Sony a7R2. So let's get into it. All right, first off, we got the body. It's a little heavier than the A6300 because it's bigger, but man, it feels good. So there's that. Got the strap. Charger. To hold the HDMI cable. And we got the battery. To be able to charge the camera. And it came with an extra battery. Cool. All right, moving on to the next item. Next up, we have the Sony 24 to 70 millimeter F4. Lens hood. All right, there you have it. Can't wait to use this in some of the videos we do. Looks good. All right, the next item is the Sony 55 millimeter 1.8. So excited about this lens. I had a Nikon 50 millimeter 1.4, and from what I've read, the reviews say that this is even better than that. And I'm a little skeptical because that Nikon lens was awesome, but the reviews on this say it's awesome as well. So I'm excited to use this, but man, Here's the 55 1.8 Sony. And I gotta tell you, it feels so small in my hands. It's just crazy the size. I'm just shocked at how little it is. Awesome, I cannot wait to use this baby. Up next, we have the Roadlink Filmmaker Kit. And I cannot wait to use this to have some better quality audio than you're hearing right now. Right now I've got the road uh, mic on it and it does okay but I can't wait to try these out. Let's open it up. We got two different boxes here. One's the receiver and one's the transmitter. That is the receiver. Here is the transmitter. Here should be the lav, the lav mic. Got a little dead cat for it. That's awesome. I didn't know that was going to come with it. And then there's just the little foam piece to put over it. This is the clip to be able to clip it on your clothes or anything. I am really excited to use this. Can't wait to uh, try out the audio on it. Last but not least, this purchase I'm especially excited about. I can't wait to try this. I've never had one and I'm finally so happy to have one to be able to, well, you'll see. What I have here is the Aperture VS5 seven inch pro multifunctional field monitor. First up, looks like the paperwork's in here. Okay, right off the bat, we have the monitor. 
It has dual power, so you can either put batteries on the back or there is a power cord extension that you can plug in to the wall. And then it's got three multifunctional buttons that you can edit and uh, tell it what you want them to be as well. The on and off button. To hook to your tripod or whatever to mount the uh, monitor on and then to be able to mount to your tripod or anywhere you want to mount it so that you can see yourself or mount it to your camera however you want to do it. We got two HDMI cables. So one is HDMI and one is SDI HDMI. So very cool. Here's your power cable. And then they send you a USB for a firmware update. Another way to mount it, you can just mount it on the top of your camera if you wanted to. This is awesome that they include this little bag, safety bag, to put it in, keep it protected in your bag. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Monitor slips right in there. This you fit on to the monitor. This is very well done. But this Velcro's on like this, and you hook it on better to each other, but then you hook it on to the front of the mirror and you have, well, I put it upside down, so there you go. However you wanna do it but you have a view box where you can see if you're out in the daylight, you'd be able to see the monitor. That's awesome. Very cool aperture, you guys did awesome. A bunch of stickers, like a lot of stickers. Awesome, I'll take them. This just looks like a cleaning cloth to be able to clean the monitor. Very cool, I'm really impressed with all the stuff they send you that is included in this kit. All right guys, there you have it. I just unboxed all my new gear. I actually have a really cool item coming Monday. Hopefully I'll do a video of that. If not, I'll definitely have video of what I'm gonna do with it. Real quick guys, I just wanna give you a little tip on how to be able to post photos on Instagram from your computer. Now you may be thinking, I always have my phone on me or my iPad, whatever you're looking at, but not a lot of people are on their computer when they're looking at Instagram. Well, for me, when I do a photo shoot or I've been out taking pictures and I'm on my computer editing, I think it's silly to have to send everything to my phone to be able to upload it. So I found a way to make it super easy to just be able to upload pictures from your computer to Instagram. So let's check it out. Okay, so you'll see when you go to Instagram on your computer, there's no place for you to post your pictures anywhere. So first thing you wanna do is you want to make sure you have a develop button in your menu. Right up here, it says develop. If you don't see that, I'm gonna show you how to get there. So first you go to Safari, preferences, and go to advanced and click on show development in menu bar. Okay, and that'll bring that up. So now I have Instagram up, go to develop, go to user agent, go over and down to Safari iOS 10 iPad. Click on that and then it'll refresh Instagram. And now you see you have different options. It's kind of like your phone. And here is the post button and you can go in and find a picture, choose it, and there you have it. You just click next and then you put in your caption, your tags, hashtags, whatever you want, and then you click post just like you would on your phone. It's that easy. If you wanna get rid of this at this moment, go back to develop user agent and just hit default and it'll take you back to the regular Instagram page on your desktop. Or um, if you, let's say you don't do that, 
and you it stays this way it'll stay this way until you close out exit out of safari i believe and then we'll go back into safari go to instagram and there you have it so you may have to do that every time you go into instagram once you close out of safari but that's really no big deal but that's how you do it. That makes it quick and easy, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed that tip and I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my new gear. I can't wait to use it all, bring y'all some new videos with it. And if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, go hit the like button. And also while you're there, hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching guys.